Let's do problem number 33 on page 163 in chapter 6. You will read the problem. It's number 33. Jane, looking for Tarzan, is running at a top speed of 5.3 meters per second and grabs a vine hanging vertically from a tall tree in the jungle. How high can she swing upward? Does the length of the vine affect your answer? Well, I, here I've drawn it, I've set it up. Here's Jane. Well, okay, so, so she's running. She grabs this vine, and then because she's moving, she swings up. And we want to know how high she's going to swing up. And does the length of the vine matter? Uh, so let's, uh, let's solve it. Um, well... The thing is, is that at, here, here's what you got to do when you work a problem like this. You got to classify the problem. And one of the things I always do in any physics problem, even you know towards the end of the year, or whatever, I look at it and I say, okay, what force is doing work? Well, the only force doing work is the force of gravity here. Gravity is the only thing that's you know slowing her down. So therefore, mechanical energy is conserved. So I'm going to say E initial, this is E final. So I'm going to say E initial equals E final. The mechanical energy, oh, she's absent. The uh, mechanical energy before she grabs the vine will be equal to the mechanical energy after she grabs the vine. Okay, and so um, now what is this? Well, we have, she has got kinetic energy here. What has she got up here? Well, she's reached her maximum height, so she's not moving anymore. So she doesn't have any kinetic energy, but she does have gravitational potential energy. And so now we can say, okay, one half the mass times the velocity squared equals mgh, or height above the, um, the and, and notice that, um, um, we don't need to know what her mass is because it cancels out. And so her height above where she started is going to be equal to um, v squared over 2g. Right? Just divide by g and you get this. And well, we know everything. 5.3 meters per second squared over 2 times 9.8 meters per second squared. And notice the second squared cancels the uh, um, 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 uh, something isn't going to cancel. Oh, you're going to have a meter squared on, on the top here, but um, you only have a meters there on the bottom, so that's going to cancel. So anyway, we, we're going to get units of meters. And so my height above is if I can find who took my calculator it was right up here because I know because somebody gave it to me oh I have my calculator all right I knew I knew somebody took it all right so 5.3 squared equals and then I'm going to divide that by 2 and I'm going to divide that by 9.8. And I get 1.43. So I think her, her, her change in height, or the amount she swings out from where she was before, is 1.3 meters. Then, because I'm a good physics student, I look it up in the back of the book. This is number 33, 1.4 meters. Woohoo! I put a star next to it because I checked my work and I understand what I did. Now it also asks, does the length of the vine matter? Mm, and it doesn't. She's going to go up the same height. But what if the vine was really, really, uh, let me do the picture here. Um, it will affect, it might affect how high she swings up. Because what if it's a really, really, really high vine? Okay, so all the way up here. 
Okay, well, to get up to the same height, she's going to swing out a lot farther to get up to the, because the, the, the radius is bigger. So if it's a really, really, really long vine, it will affect her horizontal distance that she travels, you know, while she's swinging on that vine and gaining, gaining height. But she's not going to go any higher or any higher. Now, if wind resistance or air resistance is significant, then uh, she won't quite go as high be with this because um, the wind resistance is going to be, it has more vine to act on and that sort of thing. Might make a slight difference. But for what we're doing in this class, we're trying to keep things really simple and we're just going to say, that uh, the vine really, the length of the vine has nothing to do with her change in height, if you neglect air resistance and all that kind of thing, which we are. Okay? Does that make sense? Does that make sense? Okay. All right. Oh, we've got a thumbs up. All right. Any questions? Okay. That is all.